You know, it's every man in America's dream to be dating 20 women at once until you're doing it, and then it's a nightmare. After a nearly two-decade hiatus, as many of you watched, the return of Joe Millionaire right here on Fox 4. This time, there are two men for the women to date, one rich, one not so much, and one of them is from Missouri. I'm Christelle Bell. I'm John Holt, Independence native Stephen McBee, joining a watch party at Chicken and Pickle in South Overland Park tonight. Greeting fans, and that's where we find Fox Force Dave DeMarco, no doubt a fan now. And Dave, a big crew watched the premiere there tonight. Yep, there certainly has been out here tonight. There are some of his Fort Osage classmates and graduates, a lot of his employees, family and friends. The man himself is back there, and just fans of this storied reality TV franchise. My name is Stephen McBee, and I'm from a small town in North Missouri. Cattle rancher and businessman Stephen McBee, who now lives a couple hours north of Kansas City in the small town of Gallatin, Missouri, agreed to be on a dating show he thought was called Love for Real. We get down there, and producers drop the bombshell on me that this is the reincarnation of Joe Millionaire. And did that mean anything to you? Not a thing. In fact, I was like, who is Joe? What, what is Joe Millionaire? I've never even heard of this in my entire life. 20 years ago, Fox created something groundbreaking. Joe Millionaire, an early 2000s show where a man falsely claimed to be a millionaire, returns with two men. One worth more than $10 million, the other far, far less. But the women don't know who's who. We had this concept of high end date, low end date, and these girls were asking, you know, is this something you do often? They're trying to figure out, you know, which one of us is which, and they were very smart about how they frame their questions. Fans and friends of McBee at a watch party tonight, anxious for America to get to know him as a potential husband who brings more than just money to the table. I definitely think they'll get to know that he has a really big heart and he's He's just a good guy. For the 27-year-old McBee, who woke up today to pictures of his face on a Times Square billboard, the self-described small-town farm boy worth millions is taking his new fame in stride. We're just uh, enjoying the ride and taking it as it comes and, and really just understanding that this is such a surreal moment in our lives, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and, uh, you know, we need to enjoy the moment. And certainly soaking it up and enjoying that moment right there. You see back there live is Stephen McBee. Now, the really the question I'm sure everybody wants to know, does Stephen McBee, these Joe McMillionaires, find love? Well, sorry, they can't say. But if you stick around until 10, I'll tell you how you can come out here. You can get signed pictures of Joe Millionaires. Actually, even the other one that's going to be out here as well. A lot of Kansas City pride right now is going to be part of this season going forward, John.